Hey what's going on everybody this is Santosh Aron from Epic Programmer and in this video we're going to be covering an insane javascript timer clock so by building this you can earn your first income with javascript from our channel so first let's design an html file after building this project we're going to be selling it in the market so that you can earn your first income with javascript so I'll just uh, link all those uh, CSS files over here and uh, I'll just uh, paste a body file so that uh, all these things you'll be learning in the HTML courses so don't worry so uh, every every project uh, files are in the description don't forget to check it out so I'll just link them in my description okay. so let's proceed with the JavaScript file so first I'll just add a function countdown 100 okay. so inside this we're gonna set the end time of that clock which we're gonna be link in the website okay so let me just uh, declare a date hours and uh, I'll just set it to some around uh, 15 days and 48 hours 10 minutes and uh, seconds to let me set a zero okay So then I'll just set a time zone. Make sure the time zone should be nullified. Okay. So right here I'll just link jQuery JavaScript file and yeah, forget to add something here. And next thing is that inside this JavaScript file, so you're gonna be linking the tilt function. Okay. it over here so that time gets consumed and all these things you'll be learning in uh, HTML and CSS courses so don't forget to check it out so for right now I'll just paste all these things and let's move to JavaScript directly yeah let's move to JavaScript so I'll just name it as main.js and I had linked this JavaScript file to my HTML already so just check it out so next thing is that I'll just uh, use a function and inside that function I'll just use uh, an input so variable input which is used to validate the time from the HTML file okay so I'll just uh, initializing those things from the JavaScript file which we have linked in HTML okay so next thing is that I'll just uh, create an package steps over here yeah then I'll just declare a variable check equal to true then we're gonna enter a for loop so inside this for loop we're gonna be building i is less than input dot length so it should not extend our time i mean the end of the time okay it should not move more than that for example if you are uh, giving 15 days and when the 15 days is completed we're gonna be showing it to zero and not the minus one minus two values okay so i'll just set it to less than input then I'll just uh, set an if statement and I'll just complete all these things. Then return check. Okay. Finally return check. Then let me use a function called validate. Validate, right? Yeah. Validate. Then validate input. Validate form. Yeah. Using this validate form, I'll just show you in a couple of seconds. similar to java java right yeah javascript is similar to java if you learn java then javascript is easier and if you learn this javascript then java will be quite easier than learning from the first okay so first i'll just complete all these things yeah 
then I just click on input so what I'm doing here is that uh, I'm just uh, getting the users mail to get notified that when we are website is going to launch basically it is a uh, time o'clock you know so that we are just getting the users mail and we will be just uh, automating those emails with our uh, extended PHP admin base okay so I just um, I'll just complete all those things in HTML courses so don't worry about that things so if you don't want to learn these things just skip it out skip to about uh, 20 to 30 seconds so in this uh, function validate info so I'll just getting the mail from the user and checking that whether it is a mail okay so if it is not a mail then I'll be showing that it is not a mail so enter the mail correctly okay that's what I'm just writing it over here and uh, yeah everything is I'll just check it whether uh, it's correct yeah example abc at gmail.com space space so we're going to be addressing using a trim function okay so first uh, i'll just alert the user that you should give a valid email then if they give the valid email then i'll just remove those alert so that's what I'm giving show validate and hide validate function. Finally, here we go. We had built an insane timer clock with JavaScript. So background is not a matter, you can change anything as you want. So that I'm just showing with a different couple of wallpapers which I got. So let's sell this project. Post get to invatu.com. Okay, so go to here and uh, just uh, read all those things and click on continue. Then sign into your Invato account. So right here I'll just create my Invato account. So I'll just skip this step. Yeah. Let's go for third option. Where do you want to sell? So I'll just sell it in Envato. So first option. Let's go. So what's your speciality? Just click on those what you like. Let's go for the next step. Right here we have just finished our process. Let's sell our first project. I'll just click on upload and I'll just select category and move on. Thanks for watching this video guys and make sure that you subscribe. We'll meet you in the next video.